to the sort of second or third um, weekly meeting for the sustainable urban design um, space. We are an open source project. We're in the early stages of research and development, and we're trying to be open throughout the whole process. The previous week's meeting, I failed to record the audio, so I uh, didn't upload the video. So we've only, we'll only have two recordings at this point. My name is Briley Christopher Oxley. I'm basically the product owner and lead developer, and we'll be coordinating the roadmap. And today I'm joined with, by? I am John Enman, and I am joining the project as uh, in a supporting role, uh, bringing an interest in statistics and watershed uh, analysis. Very cool. We're gonna kind of follow a scrum um, sort of stand-up routine. One thing I've done is this week I've populated a roadmap. And actually, John, let me just remember, while I'm remembering, let me share my screen with you just so you can also see. Um, the only thing is I can only share the one browser thing. So a roadmap is basically empty right now. There was some confusion in the last meeting about where the roadmap, um, how to access it and whatnot. I think the best place probably, you know, we can change this later, but it's right in the open source repo. The pre previous roadmap I defined at the organization level, and it makes it a little bit hard to, to find. So this is the project roadmap. Um, the business roadmap is at the organization level because it can cross multiple repos, uh, but I do want to keep the business development um, open as well. So during this call, we'll try to keep it brief, but I'm just going to, um, we'll start populating the roadmap a little bit with where we are and we should be able to um, see what we're working on. So we're going to create an explanation video. Uh, Max is volunteered to do that. I just need to um, probably start by writing a script and recording some audio so that Max has some materials to work with. Uh, we are in the progress of creating our initial social media accounts for community building and outreach and that is mostly done. John is, I believe, in progress with the water resource modeling, or are you getting started with that? Is it still on your to-do list, John? That would still be on my to-do list. Cool. I've, so far, I've been making my way through that book. Yeah, no shame in the game. Just putting these in the right column is all. And uh, the book, yes. What's the book one? And basically, um, I'm kind of working on the pro product su sustainability. Um, from the foundation, we want to have some important you know, aspects in place to encourage contributors and to also um, start to develop a, a means of financial sustainability. Uh, we have one bug, so I'll put that in a to-do column. And I'm not gonna create OSM data. Uh, what's the uh, name of your ta task, John? I can, I think, search for it. It's uh, Django? Yeah, Django for beginners. Yeah, there it is. All right, so that's in progress. Cool, and we'll be doing more backlog grooming later, but this is a pretty good idea of how we'll be using our roadmap. So I'll go ahead and lead off with what I'm doing, and both development-wise and business-wise, um, but the business tasks aren't gonna be on this, pro this software project roadmap. So essentially we've created social media accounts for YouTube, we've got an open collective, and Twitter, and it's uh, chat room. We don't want to spread ourselves too thin on the on those, but we are posting these videos to YouTube, and I think our open collective is at a stage where we at least can post project updates, and maybe people could start start contributing. We have a couple of um, financial goals set up. The initial one is going to cover infrastructure, and we might add a financial goal to help um, so that the core developers of this project could have some. Um, ability to work on this more full time. Uh, I don't know if it would be 100% time, but you know, maybe 20% time or something like that. So we could actually focus because it's quite a large, it's a substantial project. And Max is going to take the last part. He's been adding um, little badges and links in our project README, so everything is threaded together. I have worked, I uh, did a demo last week on the stream we didn't publish. We now have a 3D city map. Uh, canvas uh, user interface so it sort of fleshes it out we'll be doing a live coding uh, today to continue the development of the 3d um, 
mapping canvas is, is mainly the interface for how our, uh, our user interface will be organized. I'm sorry if that's a little redundant, but in other words, uh, we have three main interface components. We have a sidebar that has a series of urban lens lenses. I'll just show the diagram here. Um, so it's, and when you click a lens, it'll switch you between tools that are relevant to different disciplines, like John's doing hydrological modeling, which might come under an environmental lens, for example, where you would look at watersheds or, or forestries or green spaces. Um, and you know, then you could have lenses for uh, transport, network design, um, zoning and planning, things like that. Each of those lenses is a subset of tools that are specialized to a discipline. They're coming from the user perspective and not the GIS uh, conceptual realm and data modeling realm, which is typical, I find typical in many GIS applications that they're kind of, the applications are designed almost from the inside out, like from the way things are implemented, kind of percolates into the user interface. We want to design a user interface around people's activities and then hide the implementation details behind a simple uh, lens, so to speak. Now the, um, when you click a lens, you'll have a toolbar that has again, actions that are relevant to what you're trying to accomplish, and an inspector view that gives you additional detail depending on what you're doing and what uh, maybe you have selected. The kind of main interface is a map, and these and lenses and inspector kind of fly in and out of your view. Uh, but yeah, primarily this is a, a spatial design tool. Uh, we may add some additional tools for analysis that would include data visualization but most of the data visualization right now will be spatial data. So that's where we're at. We have a prototype and we'll try to get that prototype into, um, integrated into our main Django app. Uh, then on the business side of things, relating to product, project sustainability, is the, um, I've got, Tompera has a, um, I can get specific details on this, but it's essentially, there's a couple of resources I've turned to. Uh, one is, a, sort of a business coaching and startup coaching geared specifically towards um, migrants or immigrants. I've immigrated here to Finland and Finland wants to make sure that people who have immigrated, if they start a business, the business will be successful, they'll be able to um, you know, sustain themselves and their families. And this project or this um, uh, coaching service has been going on for four years. This is the fourth kind of batch or group and I was accepted into the program and I'll have the next meeting on that on August, in August. In the meantime, there's another project uh, or organization here in Tampere for f financial and um, strategic support of startups called NC Metri and I have an, an appointment with them on July 1st. I'm hoping that basically they'll, get, they'll show me the map of the territory of how to incorporate a business, how to run it, how to make sure it's financially sustainable, how to get whether it's investors or, I don't know, there's a lot to it. I'm not a business expert, but I do have a guidebook on my desk that they gave me. So that's where I've been. Uh, John, do you want to go ahead and give us your update? Sure. My update is that I have been making my way through uh, beginning Django and set a self, uh, myself a goal of one chapter a week. And this week I was successful in meeting that goal. And so look forward to this coming week. You finished chapter five, or did you already check the box? I, I finished chapter four. Perfect. And so uh, I'm going to work on chapter five probably after we get off this call. Excellent. All right, so that's it. And then um, basically, anything that's you know, any obstacles you're facing that you know might I might be able to support you with, or uh, that are con you know any confusions that might I might be able to clarify, or you know that any ways that the team can support your your progress on on the Django book, for example. Yeah, honestly, uh, no, I, I feel like that was a pretty good um, goal and, uh, and making my way through it. Um, yeah, no, I I'm not, yeah, and I don't mean, I'm not sounding to, like I'm diminishing it. I'm just, the opportunity here is that if there are any obstacles to any of our work, we can bring, we can raise those up during this sure. meeting. No, but let me, let me ask you if there's sure. any obstacles you feel like you could uh, use a hand with. Um, yeah, I could use some hand on this issue number 62. Um, I'm going to be working to integrate that into the main Wagtail and Django app, and that'll it'll be nice if I, uh, to have somebody who, who will test it. Max has been kind of reading the code, but I think okay. I'm not 100% sure if he's uh, running things or just kind of signing off on the pull requests. And uh, I do like 
to have a little bit more. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that he's not able to provide this, but in general, I'm hoping to get a more thorough peer review process, uh, including okay. testing process, as we just okay. ramp up development. Okay. All right. So that's basically where I am and where we're going. Is sounds like um, John, you're gonna, you can tell me, but. Um, uh, I'm going to continue on this 3D city map canvas, and maybe we can co-author this water resource modeling feature. And John, do you, what are your plans? What do you think time would permit you to do um, in the next week? Hmm. I, I think just maintaining a steady pace uh, through this book, and I'm going to look into uh, seeing if I can run uh, your prototype. Cool beans. Sounds good. Yeah, so that's about it. I think we can keep try to keep these meetings to about 10 to 15 minutes. And um, once we get in the, ha like the habit and the rhythm of this, it's pretty straightforward. So that's it. Uh, a wrap. We're going to go ahead and end this uh, project review. If you want to get involved with the project, we're at sustainableurbandesign.space is our main um, documentation website at this point. I hope soon we'll have a deployment of the, of the toolkit. Uh, so people can try it out and it starts to become uh, useful. And if you want to check out our source code, we're at github.com slash sustainable urban design slash app, or you can just go to our organization where there's a couple of repos. And specifically, we're working on the app repo right now. We might even rename it. And our roadmap can be found under the projects tab by clicking on roadmap. So you can see where we're at at any given time. And actually, this 3D map canvas UI is under progress. Cool. Thank you very much for checking us out on YouTube, and uh, I'm sorry if anybody's in Twitch. I didn't actually check the Twitch chat during the call. We were having a quick stand-up, but we will resume the stream, uh, I believe, momentarily once I touch base with John to see uh, what we want to work on. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.